I seem like some kind of liar. Is that why you won't help me? No, but... Listen, get me Bob Crawfish and his closest associates by any means necessary. No, not by any means necessary. Kill nobody. Ain't nobody convicted of nothing. I was robbed. Get them and bring them to me just down from Fort Riggs Station, and you will be handsomely paid. Sheriff. Mr. Armsdale. on the tracks. Come on! Untie me right goddamn now! Hello, Clinton. Hello, Clinton. How have you been since we robbed you? Where's my property? I don't rightly know what you're talking about, yes, Clinton. Yes, you do. My fine collection of Staffordshire China, gone! My paintings of scenes in Italy, gone. My collection of photographs of fairies, gone. It's all just a big mistake. Where are they? We invested in them together. It's money. I did no such thing. Where are my things? In the basement of your sister's house. My sister? God damn her to hell. Here. Here's your money. Kill these men, will you? In fact, don't kill them. Leave them on the tracks. <laughs> Thieves! Killers! That's what you are! This is a black mark on all of you! Shame on you! Shame on you! It's cruel is what it is! Damn you! Damn you to hell! No! 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 Cause I'm the idiot who employed you. Oh look, guests. <laughs> Are you a moron, partner? Huh? <laughs> well, you can't be any worse than us. Because this idiot, this idiot right here, just let the most notorious con man in the whole goddamn state walk clean out of a cell, clean out, and not a shot fired. We'll happily pay you. How about that? Good. Good. Now, see, what I figure is I figure he's headed on down to Pike's Basin, so you go down the canyon, 
And you get him, and I'm gonna beat this poor dumb bastard with a stick. And I'll try and join you on the other side. Come on. No. Ah. Money. I've got a lot of money, and I'll pay. I'll pay a lot. Hey, here's an idea. Take my hat. Put it on the dead guy over there. You take him in as me. I go free, and you get rich. Oh, and I won't kill anybody else. I swear. I'm reformed. I'm a changed man. Please, please. I'm begging you, set me free. Have a heart. Think about it. Now, that feels better. You'll find it all right, but I can't hang around for the law to show up while you do. I'm sure you understand. Got him? Hmm. I recognize him all right. Very good. Put him up on my horse there. That murderous bastard's killed more people than typhoid. Escaped the gallows three times. <clears throat> I'm sorry he won't face justice, but happy he's dead. Protégés, huh? He sent word you was decent. 
I hope so. This land is full of scum. I spend most of my time thinking they're better off left to it. Ah, they're goodens. Real goodens. Hard of pure cold. Go away, old man. I told you to go away. I'm going, Mr. Marshall. U.S. Marshal. See? I'm going. Been sent on a trail of a band of killers. I'm still going. This one, uh, Alfredo Montez. Killed a family up near Thieves Landing. Did some unspeakable things. He's one in four states and two countries. Now, I think he's holed up near Manzanita Post. You take a ride with me to take a look? All right, then. Let's go. Now, I cannot be seen to get too close to any of this. I'd be causing a crime or whatever the damn law is. Well, the thing is, is, uh... Well, anyway, here's Lee. How's it going, Lee? Yeah, Montez is wily. You know it and I know it. He knows we're coming, Tom. He's holed up and they're waiting for us. Place is crawling with guards, patrols, everything. It's gonna be tough, you know? Mm. Well, that's what I pay you all for. <laughs> Paying us to do your job. Well, I can't go and kill a man in cold blood, Lee. Not why I don't have the evidence I need. An eye to an unfortunate dispute that I did not see and results in the death of some undesirables, the cause of which is unknown to me and other authorities. Is that clear? Nope. Not remotely. Then that's perfect. <laughs> Good luck in there. <sighs> All right. Come on, let's go. Bastard's head. Come here. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Oh, okay. Uh. Well, how do you get on? Just fine. Just fine. Yeah. Here. Here's his head. Oh. Very civilized. Yep. Well, this should show folks that we're willing to bring law and order any way we can. It's less than I promised, but more than nothing. Given that you killed the wrong brother, it's mighty generous to me. <laughs> now, let's be clear. Jorge Montez was a no-good son of a bitch with a price on his head. Only in that family was he considered a saint. All right, friends. I'll be seeing you. Maybe up in Van Horn if you have any chance. <laughs> My next lead is that maybe uh, Alfredo Montez will be there. <laughs> Kill the wrong goddamn bastard. Well, I never. Look, I'm a marshal, so my jurisdiction ends at the city limit. Even if the town in question is a no-good dump like Van Horn. I go in there, I got even less rights than you do. Any decent hoodlum knows that. Montez is in there. At least I think he is. Or some of his boys are in there. So. He's in there, Mr. Marshall, like I told you. This is Josie Dawson. He's in there or his boys are. Hold up in my saloon. The others said there'll be more coming down from up north. They's talking about some folks killed Jorge Montez. Well, you go... Well, that was us. You go see if you can find the bastard. 
or kill some of his men as they head into town. Do both. Just don't get caught by any law. What you're doing is highly illegal. Highly moral, too. So in my book, it's okay. I just can't do it myself. Good luck. Well, I made some food if you're hungry. Oh, yes, ma'am. That would be mighty fine. Oh, hey. I heard from your friend, Mr. Horley. He said thank you for helping his mistress. She and he are very grateful. Anyway, you should get going. It's been quite a time chasing you, my friend. Uh, I know you. I will kill you. <laughs> I think that's unlikely. Uh, a whole lot more likely is you're gonna have your neck broken while well, these folks here watch and laugh and say what a nasty bastard you are. We shall see. A thousand dollars to whoever sets me free. Well, these folks here have something money can't buy. Uh, Honor, dignity, and a sense that not everything is for sale. Uh, I implore you to be sensible. Oh, I am being sensible. I swore I would kill them, each and every one of them. From the way I see it, I will do. I'm afraid my mind's made up. But Mrs. LeClerc, Teddy Brown, he's just a second-rate common no-good horse thief. You kill him and the rest of his boys, well, you'll wind up in jail, or worse. And we will never find out who killed your husband. And I know it. I believe Teddy Brown killed my husband. If he did so, he did it on behalf of his sister, her husband, or Jeremiah Shaw. Perhaps, Besides, but... he's holed up in there, besieged by marshals. Marshals? What good did a marshal ever do anyone? That's why we'll send in our professionals to get the job done, and no one will know you had anything to do with it. It's too early to show your hand, madam. Okay. You, come with me. And remember, these are the people that put you in jail. So don't overly concern yourself with pity. Madam, stay here. Please. How you getting on, Marshal? No. That bastard is holed up tight as he can be. I've already had two men shot since last we spoke. That's too bad. Luckily, I brought in the cavalry, so to speak. You have, huh? Yes. My associates. And what's more, I think I found a way of ensuring they don't get themselves shot. Like your deputies. Put those on. Teddy Brown is a bad man. I can imagine. Amos Lansing and Jeremiah Shaw, perhaps? Well, I don't know. Maybe. My lord! Look at you! I read about this. Australian, I believe. Always wanted to see if it works. My friends. Let me take you up. Come on. Bring us Teddy Brown. Dead or alive. I'm afraid of you fools! God damn you! God damn you! No! God damn you, Teddy Brown! Hello, Mrs. LeClerc. Who killed my husband? Who killed my husband? Your husband? That little milk sod? <laughs> I guess. Hello, Mrs. LeClerc. <laughs> Who killed my husband? Who 
killed my husband! Your husband? That little milk sot? <laughs> I guess my brother. No woman would ever marry his kind. I did kill him. I did it. And he was begging for his life. <laughs> Pathetic, really. Then I guess we'll kill the lot of them. That's one down, three to go. Mr. Horley, pay our friends for their service. Thank you. We shall be in touch. Real nice. Uh, but your new friend, the Marshal, he's having problems. More problems. With your even newer friend, Montez. They're in the uh, sheriff's office in Valentine. He asked me to ask you. Goddamn posse and come armed. Can you do that? <laughs> yeah, I thought you could. Best get going. Tom, who are they? Well, they're with me. Let me go. Tom, not to put too fine a point and upon I'll it. I'll let you all we live. Are deep shit. Pardon my language. Now, he's talking sense. We're all adults here, Bob. Sure as shit is shit. They'll be back until they freed Montez, and we and every decent person in this town is dead. I'm a man of many contradictions. I thought long and hard about a speech about ethics, about responsibility, about rule of law. Then I decided I'd just do this and hang the consequences. You, you killed him! No shit. So that's one less problem we gotta worry about. Now, what was the real problem in this town? I'm afraid this isn't over yet. There. Here, Lord. We gotta stop that thing! Come on, your friend saved my town. And Montez died in the conflict. Exactly. He, uh, died in the conflict. Thank you. Thanks to all of you. In towns, it's the sheriffs that run things. We help out where we can. Thank you. You've been a great help in all this business. It's been my pleasure. I hope to see you again. Not too soon, I hope. They're gonna hang young Tom Davies. Your friend, the marshal. Hang him for being your friend and doing good in a bad world. Montez's boys gonna teach goodness a lesson. Teach law a lesson. Tell order it don't exist no more in this chaos of a world. They got him in tumbleweed, and they're gonna lynch him. Gonna lure you in there and lynch all you. Guess you'll have to figure that out. Get. 
Listen here. These two men are killers. The worst kind of killers. The kind that hide behind the law. So today, Marshal Davies and Sheriff Freeman are going to get what's coming. Do it. If I could do it, I'd kill him again. Do it. Dumb! I wasn't sure about you, Mr. Jones, but then you went and saved my neck. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna make a habit of it. All of you, thank you. I mean it, thank you. I was thinking we should leave before Montez's ghost decides to pay us any further visits. So you are a good fella, Mr. Jones. Me? No, never. I just like watching what other folks is, that's all. There's a word for fellas like you. Wise? Is that the word? Come, Marshal. Help me get home. Been quite enough excitement for a clapped out old fool, well past his best, for one day! I'll see you again, I hope. But next time, under better circumstances, I trust. I'm so glad you came. Thank you. Seems your efforts have not been entirely in vain, but have produced some rather surprising results. Well, not surprising, but... Confusing. Confusing. After castigating me as a, a widow, a harlot, a fool, a mad woman, anything and everything, suddenly, shortly after we killed his brother-in-law, Amos Lansing wants to talk. But I want to make sure once the shooting starts, all of them end up dead. One of you drive the wagon, the other keep guard. Thank you. All of you. This means... <laughs> well, it means something. I don't know exactly what yet, but... I don't think any of us think Mr. Lansing has become a saint, madam, but... Uh, perhaps we should hear him out. Sure, we don't get killed. Just make sure if we do get killed. Everyone dies. No, just make sure we aren't both killed. Come along, Mr. Hawley. Good luck. And thank you. Take this. I'll be back. Let's go. Well, hello, darling. Good to see you, Mr. Lansing. You too. Jessica! <laughs> My dear, you seem under the misapprehension that I had something to do with his demise. You, your wife, or your business partner, at least one of you did, and your brother-in-law. But he's dead. Well... He was a bad man. I'm glad he was killed. Sure. It cleans up your mess, doesn't it? You don't seem quite well, my dear. You lie, sir! Who signed? Last year. The document lies with Mr. Shaw there. But he also has your money. Five hundred dollars. My husband's property was worth a hundred times that. You thief! You murderous Madam thief! Madam Leclerc! I will ask you to watch your manners. Uh, I have good standing in this town. Oh, you do, do you? I am a man of impeccable morality. Well, then you have little to fear of death. You god-awful swine. I need some of you to come with me to chase down Shaw, and some of you to stay with Mrs. Leclerc. Make your choices quick. So 
whatsoever. He was blackmailing me, Mr. Lansing was. I always knew you were a lowlife, Mr. Shaw. Yeah, but not a murderer. I don't know about that. Give me the papers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> forged. Yes, forged. Get the hell out of my sight, you pathetic lowlife. All right, better go rescue Mrs. Leclerc. More coming. I'll take it from here. Here are the documents, madam. They were forged. Of course they were forged. Here. I don't need to see them. No, I don't suppose you do. Although there's a... There's Grace Lansing, but she will have to wait. And also, we have to decide how we're going to clear all our names and extricate ourselves from the mess we have uncovered. Not sure the state authorities take too kindly to revenge killings, madam. Well, I'm sure they may. But right now, I need to make myself scarce. And I recommend that you all do your best not to get into too much additional trouble. That's your business. My poor husband. He deserves so much better than this, but this is what he got. This is what we all got. Drive on, Mr. Hawley. <laughs>